What's going on YouTube? Ye Dipper here. Where have you been, Ye Dipper? I don't freaking know guys. It's been a while. I am very sorry. I have not made a video. You know, I feel like I'm saying this every goddamn time I'm on camera. But anyway, I'm sorry I did not make a video in a while. And uh trust me, I'm gonna make it up for you guys or to you guys here tonight in this video. So I am bored as always, and uh, kind of my stomach's kind of hurting, but I figured I'd do a video because I've tried this video twice, and both times I tried to record this this week, my phone died because I had an old iPhone 4S, and now I just got the 5S now, so I'm recording on the 5S, and I'm going to see how good this turns out. But anyway, so a new camera here, sort of. But, uh, yeah. Enough of the shenanigans. <clears throat> we got the dip that everyone has been talking about for two plus years now. And I just figured I'd do a review on it. Because I could have done this review Monday night when I got it. But like I said, I tried making a review Monday night and my phone died. I tried to make a review Wednesday, yesterday, and my phone died. So, uh... I'm just going to make one now. Today is Thursday, and I'm going to make one now, and uh, hopefully the, this phone doesn't die, alright? Alright, so, ladies and gentlemen, we have Copenhagen Mint Long Cut. Now, let me, uh, let me come close to you guys here and uh, show you guys the appearance of the can, shall we? Alright, so you see right here, you got the royal blue, beautiful looking front of the can there see it shining see it you see it you see that light you see that look blinded by cope Mint. uh yeah the blue front metal top i like the back of this i don't know this is probably just for their first couple months they have it out or maybe the first month they have it out but uh the warning date right there is kind of like a different font so it looks pretty cool and uh the warning date is July 31st, 2016. So, good sell by date for us. And uh, here's the side of the can. Just going to do a quick rotisserie on it. Just like a pig, boys. A quick rotisserie. A pig on the smoker. Just kidding. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so that's the appearance of the can. And let's head back up to the front. Alright, guys, so we are back. And, uh,. I'll be honest with you guys, I think this is probably the best front of the can that Copenhagen has made, um, other than Wintergreen. I like Cope Wintergreen's front. I think that's these are pretty much hand-in-hand, hand, like first and second place for me, but uh, I think Cope Mint beat Cope Wintergreen in, as far as the, uh, you know, the appearance part of the front of the can. I think Coat mint, the blue just stands out. I mean, there's something about this navy blue or whatever royal blue you want to call it. I don't, I don't know my blues from my whites and my reds, but uh, this blue is freaking awesome. That's all I can say. All right, moving on. Enough with the shenanigans. Let's put our lip in. Let's do our pinchability, packability, uh, appearance. Even though I already did it. Um, let's see, taste, strength, and the last one is last ability. Alright, let's pack our cans, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys got a can, pack it with me. Oh, yeah. So, right away, the packability, I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't feel like moving close right now, but uh, the packability is pretty good. Um, it all packed to one side pretty quick, and uh, let's get the pinch in here. Oh, yeah. Pretty decent sized pinch there. All right. Spitting in the camouflage mud jug tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, anyway, right away, I can tell you guys right now that the packability 
it packs very well. I mean, you just, I usually pack it like three to five times. Sorry about that, I have a floater. But, uh, I usually pack it like three to five times, and, uh, it usually packs perfectly right away. But, this one just, I, I feel like you could pack this twice, and it'll probably pack perfectly. Let me try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Ready? Oh, yeah. It packed perfectly for me in two freaking packs. Now, that's saying something right there. Alright, that's saying something. This is a good freaking pack and dip, alright? As far as the packability, I'm gonna rate it right now. I'd probably give the packability, uh... 8 out of 10. It's uh, not perfect, but it's very good. So, uh, 8 out of 10 for me on the packability. Moving on to the pinchability, alright? Now, let me open this, or let me pack this again and uh, open her up. Now, right away, you can see that uh, I can just put my fingers in there right, right away, and you can see I got a pinch out like that. I mean, it wasn't a big pinch, but uh, I was able to get one out pretty quick, and that's that's what I'm looking for here in the in the pinchability part of it. Now, that was a pretty that was a damn good pinchability, all right. <clears throat> if you can reach your fingers in there and you know grab a pinch, whatever size you want, in less than three seconds, that's freaking amazing, all right. And that was less than three seconds, I believe. Moving along with the strength of the dip, all right? Now, a lot of people were actually talking about this, and um, I saw some comments on other people's, you know, other YouTubers' videos about dip, and uh, they were telling the people to include something called, like, the strength of it, like, uh, you know, like, the nicotine strength of the dip. Now, uh, Copenhagen is known for having a high nicotine rating and a high nicotine percentage in their dip per can, all right? And uh, I'll be honest with you, I thought Copenhagen Wintergreen was definitely the highest nicotine ratioed Copenhagen dip out there for a while. But uh, I'd say, I think this mint stuff has probably got more, if not definitely, the you know, as much nicotine in it than as wintergreen does. Because I'll be honest with you, when I first put this dip in, okay, Monday night, it's Thursday now, but when I per when I first put this uh, dip in Monday night, I could feel the buzz. Like, I could actually feel a buzz for the first time in probably like a year of dipping. And I'm not talking, you know, like, everyone gets a buzz, like a small one. You don't really feel it after a while, but, uh, I got a freaking buzz. Like, I was, like, I wasn't spinning, but I was, you know, I could feel it. You know, it was kicking in. It was going through my bloodstream. I could feel it. And that's good news, because, uh, I mean, yes, I haven't had Cope Mint in, shit, at least a year. Probably, like, 9 to 12 months, maybe even more. But, uh, when I put it back in my lip for the first time Monday night it was freaking crazy it was strong and uh yeah like I said probably one of the most highest uh nicotine ratioed Copenhagen dips out there but uh the strength of it I'm probably gonna give it a 9 out of 10 it's pretty it's pretty damn freaking strong for the nicotine moving on with the taste ladies and gentlemen um the taste is pretty damn good I'm not gonna lie um you know, everyone's been talking about this for two years, like I said. Everyone's like, where's my coat mint? Where's my coat mint? I need my coat mint. And I was one of those people. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I was pretty excited to see it come out. And uh, I'd definitely say that, you know, all that hype was worth it. I mean, it's definitely, uh, it's a good dip. I'd probably give the taste so far. I mean, I've probably dipped it like ten times since Monday. I'd probably give the taste like a... I give it a 9 out of 10 as well. Very good taste. And, uh, yeah, so, good taste on this dip. Man, I just farted. Shoo! Man, it's a stinker, boys. Sorry about that. Moving on to the last ability, alright? Now, the last ability is pretty damn good as well. I mean, um, 
I have I've kept this dip in for well over an hour already. Um, I probably had it in for almost two hours at one point. So uh, the last ability definitely did not let me down. I'd probably give it an eight out of ten on the last ability. Very good last ability. You're looking at at least an hour for good flavor, and even more than an hour if you want to keep it in that long. Um, so yeah, definitely a long last ability, and that's what I look for in dip. I don't really like, you know, the flavor doesn't mean as much to me as long as it lasts long, alright? If it lasts long, it's definitely a dip I'm going to do every day. Like Cope Wintergreen. Cope Wintergreen lasts a long time. Cope Mint now lasts a long time. So those are probably going to be my everyday dips, alright? Um, and yes, this, this Cope Mint has been my everyday dip since Monday, so uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, I'm E.E. Dipper. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. Don't do anything stupid, and don't do anything I wouldn't do. I'm E.E. Dipper. And what's in your list?